Today, today we do something different. We're going to delve into the world of optical physics. Wow, fantastic, right? Now, don't worry too much if you think it's above your head. I, I'm going to try to explain as best I can, and I'm sure you can handle it. it. It all has to do with a really cool little trick that you can do at home today. Well, depending on what house you have. I want to show you something. Yeah, that's an old phone outlet. You probably won't even find it in newer homes, but that's not what we're going to talk about. Now, if you look inside it, tell me, what do you see? Well, nothing. Light waves bombard the outlet, yet they fail to enter. Why is this? It's because the light waves themselves are a little bit too wide. So they end up bouncing off, going all over the place. Now, just because the light waves don't fit, doesn't mean the light waves don't fit. Confused? Okay. Let me show you. Take a chopstick. Or any long object. As long as it's appropriate. No, oh, wow. Doesn't fit in this cup. whoop de doo de doo de doo de doo Doesn't fit. No matter how much I try. Eh. Oh, wait. Unless. Unless. Yeah, you got that right. Yep. All we have to do is tilt it and put it in at a different angle. Perfect. In the same way that all you have to do is tilt the wave. And this is exactly what happens. Tilted invisible light waves go through the outlet and then what happens here is really interesting there is a slight interaction with the intensity of the light and the exposed copper it creates a very small electrical signal they often disregarded as noise static and uh, just filtered ignored now, of course, with our eyes, we can't see electrical signals, but the CMOS chip on a digital camera, when placed close enough to these copper connections, gets excited by these variations in electrical signal to the point that if you get it just right, you can get a rudimentary image. So let's take a close look at that. As you see up on our display, yeah, that's a very faint image. But what are we looking at? Well, that, that my friend, is just another room in this house. Another room with another outlet. Pretty cool, huh? But why is it black and white? Well, in this case, the three holes help to filter the differing angular light waves. You end up with essentially what is a red, green and blue channel so if we are to take a sample from each hole and, and then put these images together BAM a color image okay so yeah pretty cool but kind of pointless except let's do something a little more interesting maybe possibly risky now I don't know the legal implications uh, privacy laws and all that but you know this is a small YouTube channel so probably nobody cares or wait it's, is it kind of the other way around if I'm big who, uh, who cares let's just do this no uh, excuse me so what I'm talking about is uh well the copper that's connected to my apartment is connected to other apartments other buildings other cities and even other nations so theoretically, it means that we can have a look inside any home that has an open telephone outlet. And it's actually really super simple to do. Take that same camera and adjust the focus on the lens. This will adjust the electrical signal that the CMOS latches onto. And ah, there you go. Ah, pretty cool. It's like uh, maybe a kitchen, a living room. And, uh, oh, ooh, um, uh, um, 
yes, that's enough for today. I hope you did learn something. Bye-bye.